Will not gain anything from awakening or enlightenment or a revelational experience that reveals something that is unbelievable from the mind. You'll not gain anything because there's nothing to gain. And anyway, it's not about gaining anything or inheriting some sort of title, financial reward, place in the history books. It's not about gaining anything. It is about realizing everything. As a person, as a body, as a mind, you may experience some sort of recognition, some sort of entitlement to go in a hall of fame. But the one that experiences enlightenment has no concern for that, you see. One single whole body in a whole life in a body. And the experience of the most utmost in your mind state, voluble, what is worth it and what is not worth it. You may be a lottery winner. You may be successful in so many relationships with other opposite sexes. You may be a king, you may enthrall gowns of silk on castles and empires. You may experience every country in your earth. You may spend every single moment in your body and mind as successful and every moment as wow. You may have the most wonderful, fulfilling, experiential life as a human mind and body. But none of it comes close to meeting yourself through the Holy Spirit. Nothing comes close to meeting Christ. Not what you imagine, what your mind says is impossible, what the history books say as a singular body appearing in a singular century and dying on a cross. That's Christ's form. The essence of Christ is the essence of the Holy Spirit and that's the only worth ex thing ex the only thing worth experiencing whilst being in a human body. It supersedes every single sexual act all combined into one big massive orgasm and it is simply a ripple in the lake of Christ. Many minds will say, yeah, that's what this thing, this speaker believes. But can you imagine living the life that the speaker describes as total fulfillment as a king, winning every lottery that comes, reigning every country, being able to partner every single man or woman to a sexual fulfilling role and experiencing happiness, bliss, joy, every single 
positive human state for every single minute of a 90-year life, if Christ comes closer to that, then this one is on some sort of drug. There is no one on a drug because there's no one to take the drug, you see. There's no one that experiences anything. The one that experiences the Holy Spirit is pure consciousness appearing in a body and mind and experiencing a reflection of itself as pure consciousness. This pure consciousness is absolute wholeness. It only appears to see or reveal itself. It does not appear to gain anything. It is not even planning to experience itself. It is complete shock when it sees itself. When you see your true self through Christ the Holy Spirit, everything ceases to make any sense in this world of forms and formlessness and time and timelessness. The shock creates this totality of emptiness, stillness and absolute love beyond all human loves. To meet Christ will bring you to tears and the tears that come from you are like diamonds worth zillions of euros, pounds, whatever currency you've mined values. These tears are priceless. They are beyond any value. You have experienced through the Holy Spirit what Christ is. And you, not anything that you think you are, come back, returns to life. Body and mind are exempt, not only the vessel to see yourself being reborn as totality, as a reflection of what you call Christ, or the essence of Christ. The moment this experience is revealed, all the things that you wondered about God are portrayed in front of your very soul. All the things that you wondered about God, Brahman, absolute. Not the actual one, but the things that you questioned about it are answered. So that you understand fully that this Brahman God state exists one billion percent and you know that there's nothing more to know other than returning around and allowing life to take you on a journey not you going on a journey life taking you on a journey and that whenever and whatever happens whether in a body, as a human, as a soul, experientially, whatever happens is meant to happen and is seen as a revelation of a reflection of how God would deal with it. You become God in the sense that you witness things like God and everything that happens 
in every moment of the day in your repetitive human mind based world you will not see it as repetitive anymore you will see every moment as absolutely new your mind that returns may see hmm i think that happened when i met nothing is repetitive everything is brand new you experience life as god would experience it in wonder in amazement in awe of every single time second as being reborn for your i wouldn't say pleasure but for your seeing God sees through every vessel with the same eyes at the same moment at the same time and makes nothing of it as you would think he would make of it using a mind everything is programmed in to create the god god does not exist fully until you allow yourself to awaken and enlighten and disappear and surrender and die and watch yourself being reborn to your full potential of reliving life as the one so that this one can become the one in its totality that it desires to become most infinite level upon level upon level upon level upon dimension upon dimension upon dimension into every world that you stay in its beyondness love and you live out this life in a body with no gains with no concerns with no wants with no needs with no desires watching everyone scrap fight for the scraps the billion pounds euros that they think is going to change their life is simply scraps to what is and you become what is